couple more trap lights people are asking me to come and trap out a couple of beavers in one area I've trapped it in the past with really good success and then another place they've been kind of after me about coming down there we fish down there if you've seen any of my fishing videos on the Crooked River it's private property we one of the areas we fish they've been bugging me about it so I'm going to try to get in there and then I still have not set a single bobcat trap this year which is I don't know if I've never done that but I'm really enjoying the water trap line and uh, it's keeping me so busy enough checking and skinning in the fur shed to where that's what I've been putting in about 12 hour days doing that between the trap line and the fur shed Anyways, I'm going to uh, get down here, hopefully not break a window out of my pickup. I don't have the headache rack put on yet, but uh, get down here to my spot. Well, we're pulling all these traps out. We, meaning me, I guess. I had it set here for about eight days. Nothing until today when I show up, I'm pulling everything out, but there he is, it's another one, little muskrat, went up to my earth anchor, so you know, working my way down pulling these traps, uh, got up to this muskrat set, I'm telling you these, I had so many of these set up, I did catch a muskrat in and then I Reset for mink, but that's the one I'm looking for That's a big old male It uh, I'll, I'll check it when I get to the fur shed, but it looked pretty good size to me uh, Anyways in that muskrat set Yeah, we're pulling him Had a pretty good night last night Got us a nice male is that a long muskrat I see? <laughs> yeah, Carly spotted it. So the trap was just up in here. Watch your paddle. Look at this. That's another nice mink. Another big one. These mink haven't been trapped for several years down here, so... He's fat. We've got a, quite a few of them. That's a good addition. We'll take it. I'll show you my set here. Got my Duke, one and a half, my favorite water trap and trap for these mink and muskrat. It just holds them down pretty good. There was a little bit of this stuff up in here. There's my trap bed. There it is, right there. There's lure in there, but muskrat has been pretty slow today on the trap line, but that's fine because it's going to be an all-nighter in the fur shed. But got another nice little muskrat. First one at this set, so reset it and go from there. It's been here two nights now, so out my pan. And the trap goes right up in here. Right there. And that's it. We're going to set us a beaver trap right up here. What we've got here is this cool setup. The drowning pole, 10 foot chunk of rebar. Got a stop on that end and it's got a slide right here and it only goes one way so when they get caught they go down and they can't go back up pretty slick deal set it in it's deep water right here so shove it down here in this mud in the bottom like that and it's set take this rebar stake Wedge it in there, 
I'm going to free a path here. But before the crap to just go straight on down. Got one trap right here. About four inches of water. There's a pretty good ledge, so they'll swim up and they'll come up here and I got two traps right here like this. I'm gonna set this bit of weeds. I'll cover this up a little bit here. I'm not too worried about it. Put some mud on that. I'm gonna lure that. Is that a crawdad by your foot? That's the trap. Oh. I'm not a real expert at these. I, I don't I set a couple of them every year because they're worth setting. Got our lure right there. Put a little bit more on the stick. What's the lure made of? Just beaver caster lure. Put this stick right down here in the water, near the water. And that's the set. So Carly, can I see your camera? So theoretically, this beaver is gonna come here, a little pathway through the grass. You can look down there and see there's one trap pan, there's the other trap pan, and they're going to get in the front foot. There's the chain over to the slide. Down they go to the bottom, and they can't get back up. So there's our lure right next to the little cast mound. So, you see we've got a lot of skinning to do tonight. Uh, most of the rats and mink were, or beavers were last night, yesterday's sketch, so we're going to skin them today. Today is the, uh, uh, two week period. We've had our trap line out for two weeks, so I'm kind of going to show you what we got. We got some beaver caster, muskrats drying mink up there three otters there we got a stack of muskrats down here and they all need to come off the board got these ones obviously those three big beavers a couple muskrats there we got this guy we skinned this morning uh, a couple of those river otters we've got we do have one beaver up there that's tanned and then we've got one there, one there, one there. What's that make? Six, seven beavers. Sixty-one muskrats. Four mink. All males. Nice, nice big males. And five river otters. So far. Uh, coyote, coyotes have been real slow for us over there. Uh, we haven't even caught a single one. Then we I, they came through one time, so uh, two weeks time period. I just set traps for them day before yesterday. I had some snares in my normal spots, but set the traps out. So uh, we'll see. We might only have a, about another two or three checks on the river down there, and we're going to pull out. We're going to go out and do some beaver trapping on a creek for a rancher. And then uh, we got another whole new trap line to start. We've never trapped it. Um, we've been in there fishing and kind of checked it out, and it looked really good for mink or uh, mink, muskrats, and river otters. Seen lots of sign, maybe a few beavers, but uh, lots of muskrat sign. So we're gonna go check that out. Carly paddled the canoe today. Drove the pickup. We had a pretty fun, easy going day. So that's a wrap for two weeks. That's what we got.